Hey guys, welcome back. We are out here in front of Diagon Alley. Uh, we're going to do a video that we've been really excited about oh, yeah. doing. If you know anything about us, you probably know that we love butterbeer. Uh -huh. So in today's video, we are going to get all the butterbeer things and rank them from the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Let's go. If you're new here, on this channel we talk about all things theme parks, including updates, news, and tips and tricks for your next theme park vacation. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For those of you that aren't aware, there are six different butterbeer treats in oh, yeah. the wizarding world oh, yeah. of Harry Potter. Of course, we have the three drinks, which are cold, frozen, and hot. And then we also have a potted cream dessert, as well as soft serve ice cream and the butterbeer fudge. So I'm not sure which one I'm most excited about, Same. but I do know which one I'm least excited about and it's not because we don't love it uh it rivals the frozen butterbeer in our opinion but it is like 96 degrees so that hot butterbeer we'll see how it goes uh <laughs> i'm just wondering if it'll be easy to down like when it's so hot because when it is chilly or i mean florida chili so like 80 <laughs> it's delicious All right, so Diagon Alley is extremely crowded. Yes. And so we had all the butterbeer things and we had to make it over here. Like we're all the way basically in front of Mel's. Yeah. And we had some casualties. <laughs> we didn't lose anything, but uh, when it's like 96, ice cream doesn't hold up. Right. Luckily for us though, we are sure that the sun kept the hot butterbeer extremely hot. Oh, so yeah. I'm excited about getting into that. But this looks great. We'll go back here in a little bit and we'll try the other two treats. But for now, let's get into all of this. Okay, so um, not the best angle, but <laughs> we're working with what we've got. We had to get like a standing table or whatever. So before this um, soft serve turns into just like a, a syrup, <laughs> I think we should try it first. Agreed. It is so soupy. It is, but it like it is so soupy. Uh oh. Here. <laughs> I grabbed a bunch of napkins because I foresaw this happening. That is so good. That is so good. That hits just right on to like yeah, today so because we'll it is so hot. We'll try not to. Um, we'll try not to let our bias skew our opinions. Um, oh. Like our temperature right now because we are. <laughs> you can probably tell we are drenched um but yeah that's really good that is fabulous now we are gonna go to the tried and true frozen oh, uh so excited previously frozen <laughs> at least it mixes a little easier yes pro tip you gotta mix the cream yeah. that they put on top in because it is a hundred times better She's when like, you do uh, it like that oh no what? i just spilt some oh <laughs> can't spill any of that precious nectar yeah. Always oh, good. Oh, this is the first butter beer we've had on this trip. Oh, I just got a brain freeze. Oh, got a brain freeze. And now we will try the original, the standard butter beer. We haven't had one of these in a while. Um, no, no. We normally are very much a frozen only type of peoples. Yes. Do I have any? I feel like I have something on my face like in this area. A little bit, a little bit. Um, yeah, like, good. 
Very good. It's it's more of a butterscotch yes. flavor than the frozen or the ice cream. The ice cream's like real caramel forward almost. Yeah. Um, and the frozen's just uh, just shy of heaven. <laughs> so this one, we lo I, like. I love butterscotch. I'm not sure where you stand on it. So. It's good. Uh, I definitely don't love it as much as I do the frozen. Like, it's a good drink. Yeah. And especially the first time you come here, you absolutely have to try the original. Uh, but it's just not my favorite. And now for what we've been just so excited to drink <laughs> on a 97 degree day, the hot butter beer. And it's hot because when I carried it over here, it was like burning my hand. And it got hotter as we carried it over here, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, that hits the spot. Shoot. No. It tastes amazing. Yeah. But that like, is very hard to get down right now. So it rivals the, uh, it's like the, it rivals the frozen butter beer, in our opinion. Mm -hmm. It is one of the, I don't know, it's like, the best hot chocolate you'll ever have. Yeah. Um, that's the only way we can describe it. Sort of like butterbeer, but a latte. Yeah, like, it, it's yeah, really like a, good. a butterscotch flavored latte. It's so great. But we are going to finish all this up. Yeah, I know, shocker. And then we will go get the other two treats and we'll get back with you. All right, pro tip. We have found a use for the hot butterbeer on a hot day. You can chug that, and as soon as you think you're gonna get uh, brain freeze, just <laughs> voila, everything's all gone. Um, that didn't take long, like two minutes. Yeah. Uh, like we said, it's really hot, so all of this, most of this hit the spot. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're about to head back over to Diagon Alley and get the rest. Okay, so we were headed over to Diagon Alley and it hit us what kind of Harry Potter fans would we be if we didn't get at least one of the butterbeer items over in Islands of Adventure at Hogsmeade. So, we're going to go get the last two items over there. Just seems right. So we decided to get on the Hogwarts Express instead of walking our way over to Islands. Our feet are actually... Um, starting to get there and this is only day two so we are uh, a little concerned at this point also uh, this is one of the coldest places in the yeah. park so we're not too upset about it we just got off the Hogwarts Express in Hogsmeade and now we're gonna head into Honeydukes to pick up our butterbeer fudge and then we're gonna go to the three broomsticks to get the potted cream Okay, so potted cream and butterbeer fudge acquired. Um, like we've been saying, it's extremely busy around here, so we're just yes. having to sort of get where we can to film this. Like we wish we could be set up in like Hogsmeade yeah. or in Diagon Alley filming this, but we are, so we, yeah, we are literally just running anywhere we can get <laughs> with a little bit of shade and away from the crowds. Here is the potted cream. It comes in like a little, I don't know. Like a nice glass jar. Yeah, it's really uh, I mean, nice. You know us, we're gonna keep it. Uh, um, yeah. It'll probably somehow get shattered in our bag somehow, but we're gonna try to keep it. Uh, but we've actually never had the potted cream. No, so I'm really excited. You are gonna get to see uh, a, a butter beer first for us. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Here goes nothing. So we've heard it's sort of like a custard, like pudding type consistency, and mm -hmm. she's not a huge pudding fan, so I'm not sure what she'll think. It's really good. I think it's great. <laughs> like, it's really good. So I had no idea what to expect, but it's cold. Like, they had it in a refrigerator, yeah. Yeah. Um, which helps. I, I had no idea that it was refrigerated. It is so good. It is very good. It's very... It's got a strong butterscotch flavor, but yeah. in a good way. Like in the way that the frozen butter beer has a mm -hmm. butterscotch flavor. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't taste, it's not coinly butterscotch, but it's, right. and it's enough. Like it's very strong. Yeah, that was a good comparison. It has a similar f 
flavor to the frozen to yeah. me as well. And now to the grand finale, the Butterbeer Fudge. We have had this before and I'm a huge fan. My brother's a huge fan, his wife's a huge fan. So, I mean, it's gonna be good. <laughs> but go ahead. All right. Mm. As good as always. It's good. It is so rich. Like, it's so, so rich. Yeah, like, that's what I'll say. Like, on a hot day like the, today, it's not exactly what you want because it is yeah. so rich. But it is delicious. Like, we, well, I sort of talk and dream about this. Um, I talk about it with my brother a lot. We're always just joking, like, oh, I want some butterbeer fudge today. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I love the fudge. What I have come to find out through today is there's nothing butterbeer that I do not enjoy. I agree. I love all of the butterbeer things. This is probably lower down on my list. Yeah. Just because it's so dense and it's so rich yeah. that it's really hard to enjoy when you're sweating like crazy. <laughs> like, I think if it was like, you know, like 60, 70 degrees out, this yeah. would be a lot more enjoyable, but... Like Tyler said, this just isn't what I want to eat when it is so hot outside. So before we get into our rankings, which is what the video is about, we wanted to let you know where you could get all of these items. We actually put a list together just so you would know. So for the regular butterbeer, you can get it at the carts in Hogsmeade. Yep. Uh, you can get it at both the restaurants, so the Leaky Cauldron and the Three Broomsticks. Yep. You can get it at the Hogshead. Yeah. The Fountain of Fair Fortune. Which is in Diagon Alley. Yes, and the Hopping Pot. Which is also in Diagon Alley. As for Frozen, you can find it at the exact yeah. same yeah. location. All the butterbeers except for Hot are going to be... so. Both of them. Both of them are going to be... You're going to be able to find those at uh, all of those locations. Yes. So for the hot butter beer, you can get it at the restaurant. So Three Broomsticks yeah. and Leaky Cauldron. You can also get it at the Hopping Pot and at the Hogshead Bar. Cool. The potted cream has to be ordered at either the Three Broomsticks or the Leaky Cauldron. Okay. I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, the fudge can be purchased at Honey Dukes or at Sugar Plum. So yep. the two candy shops in the parks. Um, and the ice cream can be gotten at Florian's and we did not know this until yeah. today and it's not even on their, their website. Yeah, or their website, yep. But you can get the soft serve butterbeer ice cream yep. at the Hopping Pot. Yeah, it, it, now if you want it in a cone, you cannot get it in a cone there. It right. comes in a cup, but if you are just wanting the ice cream, you can get it at the Hopping Pot because sometimes the line for the soft serve at is crazy. Yeah. So that's something to keep in mind if you're wanting to try a few of the butterbeer treats you can get it at the hopping pot okay so now for the ranking um do you want to go first uh, i guess so all right so i'll just start at number one number one is still going to be the frozen butterbeer <gasps> oh. oh so shocking it it would take a lot to dethrone yeah. the frozen butterbeer i agree Number two for me, even though it is miserably hot outside today, it has to be the hot butter beer. Okay. Um, in third place, I'm probably going to put the potted cream. It's really good. It, like, it, was, it was so I am so, so disappointed with ourselves <laughs> for not having had that sooner. It, it sounds a lot worse than it tastes. Like yeah. potted cream isn't an attractive name, yeah. but oh my gosh, it is so delicious. Yep. So in fourth place, I'm gonna have to put the butterbeer ice cream. Yeah. I love the ice cream, even though it was fairly melted by the time we ate it. I've had it several times and it's just so good. Yep. In fifth place, I'm gonna have to put the regular butterbeer. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that all these other things are better <laughs> yeah this is just kind of all there is to it and in last place i have to put that fudge because it's just so dense and heavy that i don't really want it for my rankings uh number one and two are going to be the same number one frozen number two is the hot yeah. even though it is scorching outside yeah um it does give the frozen a run for its money 
Uh, number three for me is probably going to be the ice cream. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's skewed because of how hot it is today, but yeah. the ice cream is just so good. Mm -hmm. And if you've never had it, you really need to try it. Yeah, uh, number four is definitely going to be the potted cream. Mm -hmm. And I just want to let you know, there is not much separating like two through four. Like yeah, they're those all could right have there. probably been like put together in I any totally order. Agree. I almost flipped the potted cream and yeah, the ice cream. Like, it's so good. Um, I mean, the potted cream almost made number two. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> uh, and then I guess at number five, mm -hmm. I would probably put the the fudge. And then my least favorite is the normal butter beer. But I love all of them. Yeah. So it's not like it's not like we're telling you not to get. Sorry, someone walked by with a cart. <laughs> but we're not telling you not to get it because it is like all the treats are good. We haven't yeah. really found anything uh, butter beer related that... I won't have again. Like, oh, that, yeah, yeah, no. Like, we no, will have I, all of these things again. They absolutely. are all so delicious. <laughs> but with that, we are going to finish today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know what is your favorite butterbeer item that you've had in the parks? If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button, and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.